Here you have Baji. In this video, Luis, a subscriber from the channel here in Dallas, will transform himself into Baji. Roll that tape. To section the hair, use the comma as a reference. This will help you to define where's the front and the back. I will use a slide cutting on the front to create the frame, starting at the height of the mouth and ending at the desired length on the back. As you can see, the interior sectioning on my parting is a little higher than normal on the back. This is due because Luis is growing a previous undercut and I'm trying to get a little more length on the back. Check both sides to make sure it's balanced. I am cutting the perimeter on the back a little bit longer than the hair that is being growing from the undercut. Follow me on Instagram to see what I'm going to be doing next and to see some videos on the behind the scenes. Using the length of the undercut as a guide, I will continue the graduation line. This graduation will help to get these tips to flip out as it shows on the iPad. This haircut can also be done with the twin cone techniques using the same angle. I really like this technique because it's very visual and makes it easier for me to see all the angles that I want to cut. This part of the graduation will be activated with a lot of layers and it will give you a lot of movement. If you like this video, you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, and share with your friends. It makes the biggest difference. Thank you to all of you for your support. Let's see if you can get to 50,000 subscribers by the end of this year. I'm counting on you. Don't miss my next video on the channel, like Yagami. Using an incremental line with the layers on the front area at this angle will produce the feather style that you can see in the pictures. So to achieve the wispy finish ends on the ends, use this texture engine technique around the head. Luis has medium fine hair with very little texture, so I will use clay from 1821 to give a volume and support. Clay is a water soluble product, so it's very easy to apply it on damp hair. With the head leaning forward, I will style the hair upwards with my fingers, giving a shape and direction. In the front, I will blow dry the hair to give a volume and to create the curtain bangs look. To make some customized and personalized touches, I will use the freehold cutting technique with the razor. I will hand pick some strands and cut it at the side length to add it more texture, volume and direction. Notice that in the back I use a technique of twisting the hair to create wispy ends. On the sides I cut it towards the back without twisting it to define the direction of the haircut. This technique will make it easier for Luis to achieve this fudgy look without much effort.
For his type of hair, I don't recommend to use the brush. If I do, I will lose all the volume and texture that I have created. So I continue only using my fingers. Wax from 1821 will help me out define the wispiness of this stuff and hold it. I will finish this style by using 1821 hair spray to reproduce the final look on Baji. This was my first cut done live on YouTube on my Spanish channel. If you want to check it out, I'll leave a link in the corner. This cut will look good on diamond, hearts, ovals, and round faces. It is less favorable on square faces, but it won't look bad either. If your hair is wavy, it will change the look, but it will still work well with this graduation. This is Angel Del Solar, the Hairbender. <laughs> <laughs>